here, oh, here she is. is the Queen. And just beside her is the Duke of Kent, her cousin. Queen actually looking quite fit and as she always has done. Uh, if it wasn't for the cane she's holding, I think nobody would really notice the difference. And for a lady aged 96, really in quite remarkable condition, able to stand without being uh, asking for a chair or to sit down. This is all part of, of uh, Elizabeth II's uh, desire to always set an example, always be the person never to complain, never to explain, just get on with the job, just do your bit. And I think that's something that's been a driving force for, for, for the British Queen since 1952. Going back to what we were talking about before, about the Queen's outfit, it's a little bit less of a bright outfit today, this porcelain blue outfit with a matching hat almost looks like the was made by the British porcelain manufacturer Wedgwood. Uh, maybe that was uh, something that the Queen is trying to promote. There's always rumours about a hidden language in what the Queen wears and whether she's trying to uh, portray or put forward a message, but certainly uh, uh, colour which is quite acceptable for a lady of her age to be wearing today. Always very glamorous with pearls and that, that wonderful brooch she has. And the beautiful hats, always the beautiful hats. And standing next to the Queen is the Duke of Kent, who is her first cousin uh, on the balcony there, re reviewing the troops. Due to be accompanied a little bit later on by Princess Alexandra. These are all working members of the royal family. What does a working member of the royal family mean? It means a member of the royal family who is working for the Queen and in the interests of the royal family to promote Britain and the royal family. That is why you won't see Harry and Meghan there today, because they have left the royal family, and that you won't see uh, Prince Andrew either, because Prince Andrew has given up his titles uh, at the request of the Queen following the uh, involvement in the uh, Jeffrey Epstein case. So they will be the two or three notable absences from the balcony. But as we can see, the Queen there, visibly enjoying herself with smiles, chatting away, standing, not asking for a chair. So I think a very reassuring appearance for many people who've been asking what kind of mental, physical condition the Queen is in. Is, is she mobile? I think all those questions are being answered by just these images we can see on the balcony. There had been a lot of concern about, about her health. Well, she, she uh, has had COVID. Uh, she has had mobility problems. She lost her husband last year uh, and been through a big traumatic experience on that one. So she's 96 years old. This is something that I think is to be expected when, when one is that age. Um, and the fact she's here today at all, I would even doubt that she would make it onto the balcony. So I think this is a sign that the Queen is in pretty good form today to be able to come out and, and, and take part in trooping the colour outside the windows of Buckingham Palace.
tell us more about the reviewing of the troops, Philip? Well, this is uh, the, the pageant for the Queen's birthday, Trooping the Colour, as it's called, uh, the colours of the different uh, brigades that were formerly signs of the uh, brigade that you had allegiance to in wartime. It was easy to spot them above the, the smoke and fire of, of, of the battlefield, and, and that's where the name comes from. Uh, this is a ceremony that's taken place uh, for uh, monarchs for 260 years. It's not just since Elizabeth II has been on the throne since 1952. Uh, this is a tradition that takes place uh, on the Queen's birthday on the first weekend in June. Um, and we have uh, uh, the Coldstream Guards, the Household Cavalry, the Grenadier Guards, the Scots Guards, the Irish Guards and the Welsh Guards all taking part today with the... Irish guards being the guards of honour with their colours today. Those are the colours that are being paid tribute to for this trooping the colour on what is the official Queen's birthday and also these jubilee celebrations for 70 years on the throne. And standing next to uh, the Queen there is uh, the Duke of Kent, who is her first cousin. He's 86 years old, so a little bit younger than, uh, than, than Queen Elizabeth. Uh, he's a first cousin through their fathers, Prince George, the Duke of Kent, and King George VI, who was uh, the Queen's father.